Behind me here is a Fraser fir that's really covered with a colony of aphids that just hatched out and are really doing damage to this tree. So uh, this is just a quick video on what aphids are and what they do uh, in the description below. And if you're on a computer, uh, you can hit that postcard above. I'll show you how we spray the Christmas tree farm for aphids. But aphids in general are they're basically like a little beetle, just super tiny, about three millimeters to I think like 10, mil, uh, 10 millimeters. Uh, they get on the trees and they will try to suck the sap or pitch out. Uh, these happen to be on the bark all over the place. Um, the other ones, ten, a lot of times, well, I'll mention in the, uh, in the grand firs, they'll, as the new foliage comes up, they'll get right where the new foliage is coming out and eat on that and it'll kill the branches off that are trying to grow out. So it's really damaging to the Christmas trees. Some of the things that you'll see if a tree get, uh, is left to be infested and damaged by aphids is uh, they eat and then they leave a sugary substance known as honeydew on it. And uh, that, this attracts all kinds of other insects. Uh, one of the interesting stories when my son, when he's younger, he's 24 now, but when he was younger, shearing a tree, probably about 12 or 13, he was shearing a tree that the aphids had done damage and there was a whole bunch of bees in there trying to eat the honeydew. He was shearing on the tree and uh, uh, the bees just came swarming out and they stung him in the face a couple times and his brothers obviously uh, teased him about looking like he was from Whoville uh, because of his distorted face, but that was not a good day. But the aphids, after they do the damage, uh, they will attract other insects that also cause problems. So if the aphids have damaged the trees and a lot of damage on the trunk, they leave a lot of uh, the honeydew and then that uh, grows a mold on it, a sooty, black sooty mold. And I think the best description of what that is like is when you go to harvest a Christmas tree and you cut the tree down and you grab the trunk of the tree, it's as if somebody had beaten you there by a, about a half an hour with a can of black spray paint and uh, sprayed the trunk of the tree and you reach in there and your hand is kind of not super thick with it but sooty black and the entire trunk could be like that. You certainly don't want this on your Christmas trees. Ladybugs are a natural predator of aphids, and so I like ladybugs being around to help eat aphids. They actually eat the aphids, but uh, the bad thing is if I start seeing a lot of ladybugs around, and usually what that means is there's a lot of aphids around. So it's a good sign, bad sign when you see ladybugs. Ladybugs are our friend, but they're here because a lot of our enemy is here. There are a lot of bees working these grand furs. There shouldn't be, and there's a ladybug. Both the bees getting into free sap and ladybugs that eat aphids are indicators that this early warmth in spring, we weren't ready. And the aphids got ahead of us. Fortunately, we're spraying now. But there's already damage done to these grand firs. Thanks for joining me and my business partner, Barry. Once again on the Flanagan Homestead and East Fork Christmas Tree Farms, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching including horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Join us again soon. We're going to be shearing Christmas trees and uh, showing you the signs that we built. Have a good day. Awesome. <laughs>